Gun Freak Nation. I hope, you know, y'all that's watching this, I hope everything is all good and that you live in your best life. Unfortunately, sometimes when you try to stay in your own lane and, and mind your own business and, and try to live your best life, these savages is not having it and they are trying you. I've, I've noticed um, the last couple of weeks, uh, the savages have been doing, I'm not necessarily going to say a new tactic in, 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 in getting the drop on people, but I've noticed, I've been watching a lot lately on the news that what they're doing now, they, 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 they was doing it. They've been doing this tactic years ago, <clears throat> but they, they stepping it up again where you may, you may be out there grocery shopping, whatever, whatever that you attract their attention. What they, what they are now doing is following you back to your house. They watching you grocery shop or handle your business out there in the streets and they follow you back to your house. And when you get out your car, they, 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 they get back inside your home, they jump out on you. A car load, car full of them jumping out on you with their guns, AK-47s, AR-15 pistols. Uh, uh, and they're, they are robbing you right there on the spot. And in some cases, they are making you uh, uh, forcing their way inside the house once you get outside your car. So, Gun Freak Nation, I need y'all, like, uh, it, it's holiday season. A lot of people is is out and they shopping and people sometimes let the festivities distract them and you forget that we living in a wicked, wicked, savage world out there. You must always remember, no matter how much fun you are having or how happy you are, you cannot let your guard down. Now, within the last week or so, I've seen this tactic used about four times on unsuspecting victims that, 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 that pulled into their driveway. Another car follows and people just jump, savages just jump out with their guns already out and, and they own you in seconds and you know, um, you got to, I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, number one, to avoid a situation like that, always be aware of your surroundings. Even when you're driving, see if it's somebody following you. You know, even when you're out and about grocery shopping or getting gas or whatever, keep your head on a swivel. And if anybody watching you, you know, keep an eye on them, especially if, 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 if they, if you notice a vehicle following you, you know, that happened to me and my, uh, woman, my fiance, uh, years ago, that happened. We was at, we, we, we decided to go get some late night snacks and, um, you know, I'm normally have a, a smart ass in the comedy where you can't be going out in no two or three. We this is America. Nobody can lock us up or lock us down and have us afraid for your life. If you're afraid to to live your life, then what are you living for? Now I understand stupidity and and you know just out there just being stupid. But as long as you savage ready and you can handle yourself, don't let no savage pump no fear in you to where you scared to 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 go outside. You know I got a lot of people commenting when the cop came. Uh, to my house that time because they got a complaint because somebody was shooting in the area and they just happened to see my door open. A lot of people got on me and was like, well, T, you shouldn't have, you know, and I, I get it, man. Y'all care about me, but I'm good. You know, feel, feel pity the fool that try to wind up in, in my house because I'm not, what I'm, I'm going to tell you something. What I'm not going to do is be a slave to these savages, be, uh, uh, um, you know, be afraid and 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 not live my life. You know, that's not the way to live. If you got if you gotta be in your own house and you a grown man, but you scared to have your door open because you, you either you can't you know, if you don't have a firearm to defend yourself or you just feel like you inviting danger, that ain't no way to live, man. That's not no way to live. You still got to enjoy your life while you still got it. You know what I'm saying? So if they 
if they make the mistake and try to come at you the wrong way and wind up in your house, then you got to let them have it. So what I was talking about, the new tactic that they, they, they it's not a new tactic, but what they starting to do again uh, on a regular basis now is follow people back to their house and jump out on them. So if you feel like you got somebody following you, handle your business, man. You know, uh, uh, have your funky town sender on the ready. And if them fools make the wrong move on you, you got to do what you got to do to put that threat down. I don't know how it is in your state, but here in Michigan, we got stand, stand your ground. We got the castle doctrine here. So if they wind up in your house, you don't have the duty to retreat. You know, that's messed up in some states. I think California like that too, where if somebody break up in your house, you got to run from them in your own house and run up out of your house. You can't do no harm to them. Only a Democrat liberal extremists like that would, would come up with, 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 with a corny, you know, uh, pro savage law like that. Make it make sense, man. It, it, it really don't. These savages, they really don't care. They will try you. And what they love is, is the people they got their head in the sand and ain't paying attention. Those are the people that think it can never happen to them. Those are the people, well, you know what? I'm living in a in a decent neighborhood, a safe neighborhood. No. You might be in a nicer neighborhood, but trust me, it's not safe. There, there are no more safe neighborhoods. All this fall on TV, I've been seeing like Home invasions, crime happening in upscale wealthy neighborhoods, never like before. Like it's, it's, it's at the peak of the peak, and you just need to be ready when it do hit the fan. When they when they come after you, you you gotta be ready. It's just as simple as that. So if I in in in, in a situation like that where I see somebody clearly following me, see back then when me and my fiance. When we uh, when it happened to us back in 2016, man, I think I only had one at that time. I only had one gun, and that was a scorpion. And I even had my CPL back then, my my concealed kit, my, my concealed pistol license. I didn't have any yet. But when that incident happened, and I survived it, and we got lucky that night because I I, I didn't have the scorpion with me. I, I wasn't gonna be riding around with the scorpion in my car unloaded because Michigan laws, if you don't have a uh, your concealed carry license, you cannot have a uh, a loaded firearm in your vehicle. It's against the law. It's got to be separated. If you're going to have it in your vehicle, firearm must be in your trunk or it's got to be separated. And ammo got to be in your glove box, but they can't be together and it, it, it definitely cannot be loaded. You know, so... um when I went through that situation, and if y'all scroll back about 500 videos, maybe six, 700 videos, <clears throat> you will see that video. I, I go in depth about it. I, I did a, a video talking about that incident, but it definitely woke me up. I never want to feel uh, like hope, helpless again, man, like hopeless, like we didn't have any fire. We didn't have no kind of weapons on us. They could have. They could have jumped out and 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 did whatever. I, of course, I was gonna fight, but you cannot run against armed savages. So I went out. Later, got my um a, a, a handgun. Then I, I I worked on getting um. I went ahead and got my CPL. And I ain't look back, man. I never leave home without it because you just never know. When we went to that uh, gas station to get some snacks, we didn't know that <clears throat> some savages was going to follow us back home. The savages wasn't even at that gas station. When we was leaving the gas station, we going down Hubble, a street called Hubble. I'm going this way. I noticed a car coming that way, and it didn't have the, its headlights on. So 
that caught my attention right then and there. That it was a, uh, I think it was a Denali. <clears throat> so in my rear view mirror, I'm looking at him. Go up in somebody's driveway and turn around to do a U-turn to get behind me. And when they got behind me, they turned their they, they headlights on and they followed me. You know, but I'm not going to go into details about it. Um, all I know is that I say I would never, ever, if I make it through this situation, I'll never, ever be caught slipping again, man. So, you know... If, if you really on your P's and Q's and got your head on the swivel and you notice somebody following you, then you better have your funky town sender ready. Because if they jump out on you, you need to jump out on their asses and send them straight to funky town where they belong for messing with you in the first place. Because all you're trying to do is live your life, your peaceful life, and you don't need these demon savages you know, trying to unalive you and delete you off this planet. You know, you got to do what you got to do at the end of the day. And I'm telling you, during these holidays, it's, it's worse. You know, it's, it's bad year round. But it's something about the holiday season that just makes them even more aggressive. And, and I guess they, 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 they want money to, I guess, buy Christmas gifts or whatever, man. But it's something about the holidays that just the ferocity, the aggressiveness... They, they own you. And you really can't trust nobody. You really can't trust nobody, man. You know, so just be ready. And for the women of the Gun Freak Nation, I know I'm, I'm, no, I know I'm preaching to the choir. But y'all really, really, really has to have your head on that swivel. You really, really got to be frosty because they really trying to catch y'all slipping so they can slip inside of y'all. Did y'all catch that? Because nowadays in these home invasions, when they know that it's a female and they know that she live by herself, man. Please do not think that they just coming in there and you, you assuming that they just coming in for your valuables. You have to keep in mind, you're dealing with a pack of savages. Basically a pack, a wolf pack. And they're, they're breaking up in your home. That's your domain. They're breaking up in your home. So when they come up in there, if they get the drop on you, you don't have a firearm to get them up off of you. Literally, they're going to be on you. Did you hear what I just said? If you don't have a firearm to get them up off of you, then they're going to be on you. And don't, when they come up in your home, don't be surprised if they ain't looking for your valuables. You are the valuables. You got to keep in mind, these are most likely going to be a group of of of, of Men. Well, I don't even want to call them men. They're savages. Okay, number one, they probably more than likely on some type of drugs. And some of the drugs are sexual stimulants that makes them horny. So they're coming up and they're already high. they horny. And they're looking at you as they fix. And it's not going to be, it's not going to end up uh, good for you. They're going to do horrible. I, I, I want to say it, but I can't risk YouTube striking my channel again. But you get the message, man. You're going to be forced to do some, some things that you're not going to do. And if you survive it, you're probably going to be... It ain't no problem. You're going to be damaged for the rest of your life. So don't even insert yourself in a situation like that. Get armed now. Get armed now. Because what they, what they do fear is looking down the barrel of an AR-15 or looking down the barrel of any gun because they don't want to get unalived they selves. But if they break in, they trying to do horrible things to you and then unalive you, fight back, man. 
Don't make it easy for nobody. Go out. If you're going to go out, go out in the blaze of glory. But we don't even want to get wanted to get to that point. Have your situation secured. Have your home secured. If you are out and about, pay attention to your environment, to your surroundings. Make sure that they not, you know, uh, uh, scoping you out and, 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 and don't try to hit the lick on you. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, just, you know, holiday season is here. Keep your eyes wide open, Gun Freak Nation. Much love to you. Listen, man, y'all stay armed. Stay responsible with your firearms. Stay righteous. Please stay righteous. And be ready to send that low down, demonic, funky, savage to Funky Town. Much love to you, Godfrey Nation. Salute.